she belongs to the street. You know what I'm saying? Between me and you. If you're a guy dating a girl, you gotta watch with time. Because you can pretend you can pretend to be somebody that you're not for a little bit. Over time you see traits and you see actions that people do, and you can find out she's a whore or not. So mm -hmm. I would just say like look for signs like maybe her phone is face down on dates, maybe her phone's on DND all the time, or she's like, you know, busy at certain times of the day because she's out late night with friends, like certain things you see and patterns will tell you that she's a hoe. So two things I'll just say off the tip are like a chick that like does drugs or a girl that's like alcoholic, not the very high likelihood that she's gonna be a, a hoe. Okay, so I'm gonna say this. Now, for guys who are trying to figure out if a woman is a 304, AKA, she belongs to the streets. You know what I'm saying? If you're kind of questioning that, I think that's already probably a red flag. I will say this, there's no way of you knowing for sure because you're not following this girl around with the camera to actually know, okay. She slept with this guy and you know, she sucked this guy's And she did this and did that and you know, had this many threesomes and you're not gonna know that. So you're automatically gonna go off of your perception of her lifestyle, maybe how she dresses, how she presents herself. You can go off of how quickly she sleeps with you, but I'll say this. I'll say this for the guys who think, okay, if she sleeps with me on the first date or she sleeps with me on the second date or does something sexual, then she's probably a hoe. I won't necessarily say that, but I would say if you are on a first date with a female and there's no chemistry, you guys aren't really like vibing, you know, she's not laughing. It's not, there's not a real connection there. And that girl still sleeps with you or she, you know, sucks on you or do does whatever. If that happens, then yes, I would say most likely she does stuff like that on the first date just because she thinks you're cute. But if you guys are actually having a great conversation, you guys are like building a connection and you guys are like talking to each other, like you've known each other for years. Now that's different to me. You guys are grown adults. So if you decide to make that decision, there's nothing wrong with that. I do agree with if she drinks a lot or, you know, she smokes a lot. I mean, I, of course, these aren't clear cut signs that she's promiscuous. These aren't clear cut signs, but this is, kind of something to look out for. I can get up on my house now.